Okay, quick little room tour. We're on the Emerald Deck 234. We're a little forward this time, which we have never been. So if you watched the Regal Princess vlog, you'll notice this room looks a little similar, but it's just a little bit smaller. So when you first walk in, here's the closet and our luggage just arrived. So I love the layout of the closet. I'd mentioned that before. Really great that um, it's kind of in its own little separate area. Just a little bit smaller again. So you have all this space right here. The only thing I can see right away is the safe is really tiny compared to a lot of others. So you have the bathroom here. Again, pretty standard. So that's what that looks like. A nice big uh, full mirror there. And then it's a really nice size room. I love, you know, that it has the nightstands on each side. That's always great for storage. Nice big mirror. The only thing different from this one, again, if you watched our other one, the TV is up here where before it was on this wall, like a big flat screen. But again, that was a deluxe balcony and this is just a regular balcony. So it has a table. You have, uh, again, the TV up here. A little beverage area with the fridge, a little chair, and then of course you have your little desk area, vanity, whatever you want to use it for. But you know, you have all this space in here, which is really nice. And of course, we always get a balcony. So, this is what the balcony looks like pretty decent size, actually. So, two nice chairs. I'll just flip you around here so you can see. A view from this way. So anyway, nice size room. nice because uh, nobody's around. <laughs> this is really pretty. So there's like a open space and a bar. Actually a bar in the back. And there's the seats outside of here, right? Yeah, this is a really big area. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> I don't know. I think everybody must still be eating because nobody's around. <laughs> oh, here's Sabatini, so... Now, right, we're not going to get our, our luggage for till 3.30, I think. Are you going to ask him? Hello, any information for you? Oh, it's a small ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, everybody must still be eating. It's so quiet. Okay, this is really pretty. This is the Bayou Cafe. Very cool looking. Definitely good for filming when nobody's around. What is this one then? So is this just like the regular theater? Or is there another theater? Yeah,
so they have a lot of games and is this also considered the library? Sometimes the card room in the library is the same, but no. It did say library. Is it on the other side? Here's the library. Big, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's see any other places over here. Of course it's only 9 o'clock in the morning so nobody's really here except for a couple die-hard slot players. And then right here you have the International Cafe which is awesome. You can get specialty coffee, pastries, sandwiches 24 hours a day. so that way if you want to be in here but if the sun's shining it's pretty warm so good morning from Aruba it's hard to keep my camera from fogging up because it's been so humid the last couple days not a ton to look at here from where we're docked in the morning. You gotta watch my bag though. hear the water under where I'm standing here. It's a pretty little marina. Very pretty. Again, there's the ship over there. 
Oh my gosh, look how pretty. Trying to creep up on the iguanas here. One's in the grass, the other one's up on the rocks. I know the birds are so close to them, I guess they don't mind them. I know, I don't know. The one's moving a bit, isn't he? They don't eat birds, though. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. They don't eat birds. Hello. Yeah. Hello. He's like, don't get any closer. <laughs> I got a long tail. Yeah. <laughs> so we are already back on ship. We were only here for a few hours. This is our view. Clouds are definitely rolling in. Check out that water. from Cartagena, Colombia. You can see it there. We are pulling in. It's almost 8 o'clock in the morning. It's pretty foggy though and humid. This is our view from the balcony. And again, this is why we get a balcony. So when we're pulling in ports, we don't have to rush up and always be on the top deck. And just look outside. Pulling up next to a Holland America cruise, you can see. Or ship, I should say. This is um, not the same ship, but it's similar to the one we went on about a little over a year ago at Christmas. This one's the Westerdam. up here hiding from everybody but he's so cute. So much to get a no but I will. We're at the top of the monastery. There's the cruise ships. Ali saw her and rescued her hand from the boiling water. Since that time so Arab they venerate the Fatima Palmera, Alcatraz. Okay, my people, you remember me in Cartagena. I, my name is Álvaro. No Picasso, Álvaro. <laughs> Look at the brain, look at the brain. And the mirror. Alvaro el Barbaro. Look at, look at me, people. 
Good morning, we are sailing to the Panama Canal. That's our sunrise. It's extremely humid, so I hope my camera doesn't fog up. <laughs> That's what's behind us. Probably, I don't know, still 30, 40 minutes out from the actual canal. And then it'll take us over an hour to get through them. So I'll show you clips when we're actually sailing through. So it's up that way still. I wanted to show you the pretty sunrise because a lot of mornings um, it's been so cloudy we've not had one and even though it's a little cloudy this morning you can still see it. So I'm zoomed in a little. I don't know if you can tell that far ship. I'm going to point to it. That one. See how much higher it is than this one right here? That's how far you go up. It's 85 feet is the difference. gets a little blurry if I zoom in too much so let me see and I'll try to go different places of the ship as we're going through but yeah you can see that one's much higher do you guys see the cars going across it kind of gives you a size reference Throwing it over to the ship. Low tech. Well, if you think about it, anytime there's a rope onto a ship, there's somebody manually yeah. out okay. there in a boat or on the dock connecting it. Yeah. I still can't get over that first ship up there, how much higher it is. I don't know if you can tell we're moving. We're moving so slow. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like we're not as close as you thought? Mm -hmm. Because when you see pictures, there's only like two inches, a couple inches on each side. So that seems we'll probably just narrower when you get in it. Okay, yeah. Well, I guess we're we don't have the viewpoint of being up on the front, which we will. Oh, there goes the ropes tightening. Oh god. I bet that rope's heavy too. So they attach the ropes to the mules there and that's what takes us through the canal. So see the guys have the ropes. Hi. He's waving to everybody. <laughs> so there's four mules. We'll have to go on the other side and see too. Let me back out a little now that we're coming in. <laughs> that guy's still waving. Oh yeah, now we feel like we're getting closer. It feels like we sped up a little. Yeah, we have. We're probably slowing down for the Yeah, well and then he can put his thrusters on one side or the other, getting us where we need to be. The mules are moving. This is so crazy, isn't it? guys in there driving it. <laughs> it's almost like a train kind of. Yeah, it is. Look how much closer we're getting. Mm -hmm. 
So it's like the first two have taken off, but these two are still here. Well, I, I don't, I guess it's just those two. Yeah, they're not hooked up. So maybe these are just backups. Oh, there is? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, when we get in, we can go up top. Yeah. Okay. This is starting to give you an idea how close we get, but we're not even... They're still slack in the ropes a little. Looking straight down. I guess at some point they said you can actually touch it when we go through the locks or that close, so we'll see. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking still straight down from the balcony. You can see <laughs> barely any room. There's people back here, but I don't know if you can see, there's a ship back there. I'll zoom in here. Can you, real, you can really see the difference now. See this first one, how much higher it is? water being up here versus here well, you can almost see it happening the water draining from the other one like it happens pretty quickly I think they said right yeah. then a couple I mean look you can really see I have to zoom in here I don't know if you can see the water level on this one going down and that's what all this is Maybe if I remember, or they say it somewhere, I'll put an annotation in here how quickly it comes up and down. I think they said it's just within a matter of minutes. It's not very long. Oh my gosh, look at all that. That's crazy. So this is giving you a different perspective. We could literally reach out and touch it if it weren't for the rail. And I think there is on one deck where you can, but I'm not sure which where it would be. They keep a bit of slack in the line. When they are on the angle, that's craziness. Take up slack. Okay, hopefully you can tell if I focus on something that we're going up now. So the waters lifting us up. Yeah, because we were much closer a minute ago. To give you a perspective of how many people are on the front of our ship, it probably looks something similar to this one. <laughs> That's why we're not up there because you can't um, you can't get any space to see anything. So we are waiting to go in the third set right now, and I was hoping to get footage of this one going in the second, but they haven't opened the gate yet. funny we were down we we're level with that so I know okay. we were on this yeah, on right this here. yeah on this deck oh my god that's so crazy on this deck we were level with that that is true that's the first shot I took was we could have reached out and touched yeah, it those guys were standing right there see this mm -hmm. <laughs> that's crazy look how much higher we are now it'll be funny watching all this back <laughs> Oh, that, that is, okay, that's, but you can see where the water was over there, like, you know, it's up high yeah. and then down, mm -hmm. so when it was all the way down, that's where we were level with this. 
Yeah, because they're getting ready to come in, and they'll be that level and go up. It's so funny to look at this that now we're level with this and it looks so high up from back there. They still haven't opened the gates of the other one. We've moved through this one quicker. There's our, uh, yeah, videographer. <laughs> Videoing her while she's videoing everybody else. We'll have to look for that picture you can. Oh yeah, we'll get that one. <sighs> look how close we are. the other ship because that'll be in the way. Yeah. And over there, there's a lot of rubble on the pine. are waiting to go back through. Yep. Yeah, they'll take this. One's going the other way. No, we're going down. Oh, yeah. The mule drivers can't talk back. So to acknowledge that they have uh, heard and are executing the command that's been given, they ring a gong. And uh, two gongs is an acknowledgement. Uh, beyond that, there's a number of other gong signals you will hear that have other meanings. So we are down one deck now on seven, or six. We were on seven, now we're on six. And it's like going down a really slow elevator. But this just kind of gives you an idea. I'm looking out a window here. I'll back up. It's a really big window. Gives you an idea how close we were. I mean, if these windows open, I could seriously reach out and touch it. So you're looking at a hundred year old wall there. <laughs> Technically 102. It was the 100 year anniversary in 2014. You can see we've already went down this much. So this is the final one going back out to the, the ocean. They don't really call it the Atlantic, do they? They call it the Caribbean Sea right, here. Sure. <laughs> Isn't that crazy though? That's what it looks like up close and personal. There's ground level. <laughs> so we are in Cologne, Panama now, which is just a couple hours away from where I left off last, going through the canal. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. It's a very industrial behind us alongside this building here and this is 
where we are picking up those who went on excursions today. So they got off in, they got off right after the locks and they'll meet us back here in Club. And there's some shopping and a little bit of stuff. Places to eat, a few little things around here. We're only here for a couple hours and then we leave again about 7.30. Okay, left hand side we have the little bird, the spotted sample. Yeah, it's hard. The fruit on the in Jamaica is it don't give a fall. This Panoka fall is much smaller but more frightening. Everything I read, oh you're feeling, yes, me feel good. You do the things where you know you should and when them say you're but a big you say you know we This is the crowds at Dunn's River Falls, and it was busier even a few minutes ago. A whole bunch of people standing around their swimsuit. But us. Crazy busy. Lines as big as Disney World. <laughs> I know, it's pretty steep. We decided to go on the walking trail because that looked insane. <laughs> I didn't want to be tied to all those people. <laughs> I don't see how some people do it. There's no way. If you're out of shape or short, this is not for you. <laughs> I guess if you start at the bottom and this is halfway, you could get out here. Well, that's true. You could. I was going to say because some people, those are taller than they are, you know, yeah. trying to walk up. Is this at the bottom over here? No, this is half. Halfway. Oh, wow. Hi, 